Hey everyone, it's Ellie here. Hope you're all well. I have a pink paisley layout for you today. Um, it's Easter week on the blog, and I just thought, well, I'm obviously gonna make a layout about the Easter bunny, aren't I? <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I did. I just showed you my um, the little drawings that I've done of my Easter bunny that I wanted, um, and. Yeah, I'm sure I could have found an image online or on the Silhouette store or something, um, but I just decided to draw what I wanted because I wanted the bunny to be kind of holding a balloon, which is why it, like one of his arms is up, because um, that's what's going to be holding the balloon. Um, and yeah, I'm using that amazing pink ombre paper. Um, I can't remember what number it is but it's lovely <laughs> uh, on the other side it had all those like bold circles which is great but um, for this layout I really wanted to kind of go with the more like very like kind of light and airy kind of pastel colours um, this collection's got like quite a large colour palette um, and that's great it's awesome um, so that means you can kind of achieve like a lot of different looks with just the same collection which I, I really like it's really versatile and this pink is just so nice I love all of the pink tones in this uh, collection they're just really pretty um, and I originally wanted a purple bunny um, but yeah he it ended up just being like too dark um, yeah and I wanted to go for the light sort of cutesy thing so the baby pink worked really well um so yeah I couldn't decide either what colour tummy I wanted him to have I ended up going with white um yeah I just kept it simple and I also ended up stitching in a little bit obviously around the bunny um and yeah I mean I always say like I know I do a lot of stitching and I really I know I, un I understand that people don't like stitching um, but if you wanted to like create something like this you know you can always um, leave it <laughs> um, you don't have to stitch or you could um, outline it in pens um, you know like you can go for like a really bold look like with a black pen or use a white pen for a softer look or you can even use like coloured pencils um, and do like shading and things that would look really cool um, I really should try that actually um, note to self <laughs> so I'm deciding um, what colour balloon I want to have and I thought it'd be really cute instead of like doing like kind of a traditional looking balloon I would um, maybe uh, create like an easter egg balloon and I think it looks like an easter egg balloon I really hope it does um, or just like a floating easter egg that would look fine but I don't want you to think that I've forgotten what balloons look like and you know <laughs> oh anyway um, and I couldn't decide what pattern I wanted so I cut out a few contenders and I ended up going oh god my voice <laughs> oh it's really breaking up um, uh, my voice is breaking up with me <laughs> anyway um, yeah I decided to use one of um, the patterns from I think it's paper 24 the one with all the little squares of patterns and they've got a white background I really like that one and I really like this little um, yellowy mustardy colour which is really pretty and yeah just drawing the little string that's gonna hold or it's going to be attached to the bunny um, and I stitched that of course <laughs> um, and yeah also stitched around the balloon and now we're getting on to creating like the main bulk of the layout I guess um, and yeah I decided to create a scene I know I always do this but I just think in this case it really worked um, like it kind of made sense of the flying bunny <laughs> um, and I'm actually scrapping a photo of me when I was little and I'm holding one of my 
the rabbits I used to have. Um, his name was Peter, um, like Peter Rabbit, because he looked like Peter Rabbit. <laughs> uh, so original with that name, but and he was just as naughty. He was a nightmare. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's quite nice to have a picture of me holding him and him not like trying to like I don't know scratch my face off or something. Um, he wasn't that bad, but he wasn't like. He was just grumpy. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I thought that worked quite well because I don't really have any like Easter photos like as such. Um, I don't know, it's not like a big thing um, in our household. It's kind of like we acknowledge it and we always have like a really nice roast on Sundays. So yeah, um, so I don't really have any specific pictures but I thought the bunny worked quite well and very felt very springy and yeah cute <laughs> I really love the way this ended up looking um so a minute ago you would have seen um me putting modeling paste through a stencil and I love doing that <laughs> do that all the time and that crafters workshop stencil of the skyline is just like my absolute favorite um yeah it's just so cool <laughs> and yeah um that just kind of helps give everything a bit of perspective I think um and yeah I guess I, the bunny kind of I don't know it just kind of looked I think he kind of looks like he's hopping along but not really it's a just and bleh. Okay, so again, <laughs> just to highlight that, I thought I'd kind of draw little like cartoony hopping lines, um, just to kind of ground him to the page because I don't want to wait you to think that he's you know flying off, you know, into the distance with his Easter egg balloon. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I just thought he looked really cute, just like hopping along like that. Um, with his Easter balloon because that's how I imagined the Easter bunny when I was little obviously um and <laughs> what am I doing now oh the paths I've I actually cut down that footage of me deciding which direction to put the blooming path or do I decide now oh no I decide now Ah, uh, yeah it was honestly I you know I didn't think that um I could make that so complicated but I did um, anyway <laughs> so I decided to try this and I'm putting like making a little signpost um, because there was a chipboard shape that said hey sugar on it and I thought that would, that's quite appropriate you know because Easter Bunny brings chocolate and all that good stuff um, and yeah I didn't know where to put it and have it make sense so I thought I'll make a little signpost um I've done this a few times before on layouts and it I don't know why it just it really didn't work um and it looks really cute I'm looking at it now and where I put it ended up putting it on the layout and I think oh god that actually looks quite nice um but you'll see in the close-ups I don't actually use um the signpost um I actually finished the layout and then changed my mind um about it and I don't know why I don't know it's just guess looking at it in person um freaked me out a bit well not freaked me out but you know like I don't know I just yeah kind of thought twice about it <laughs> um and yeah I did a lot of fussy cutting so I cut out a few of the papers from Oh My Heart and I also pulled one from Fancy Free which had all the little tiny little flowers on it um, and the colours match really well on that so yeah they were a nice little um, addition as well to the page and I made that little bumblebee um, and he was super easy to make he just like cut like a oval shape and then just drew like three black lines and cut out some wings and I had a bumblebee <laughs> and I just thought I'd do that just to add another little critter into the mix for an extra bit of cute and I've also got that fox um he I don't think he's one of the ephemera you get 
the fox in the ephemera and also there's a fox on the cusp part sheet um, and I used him on here again <laughs> I love that little fox he's so cute um, and I'm just putting flowers everywhere um, and I felt like it needed the flowers because it needed something in the foreground and yeah it just needed something to kind of frame everything I guess so the flowers worked really well and I can never resist putting a good flower on a page <laughs> so yeah that's what I'm doing now see the sign looks really cute now I'm looking at it I kind of wish I kept it um you'll see what I do in a minute um, instead and it still looks really cute but why didn't I like the sign I don't know uh, who knows who knows with me <laughs> um so yeah I also um this doesn't actually have a lot of foam on this layout I know um I just pop some foam underneath some of the flowers and that just helps give it a bit of shadow extra dimension perspective all that good stuff um and yeah the little foam dots I have are really inexpensive um and they're pretty good <laughs> and they're tiny so they work well um if you're in the UK they're 50p in Wilco's so um I always grab about 10 packs of them well not quite 10 but I do buy a lot of them because they're just they're so inexpensive it's great <laughs> um and what am I doing now more flowers always trying to add more flowers um and adding clouds and I also ended up in a minute um creating some bunting um with from some oh is that <laughs> from some paper scraps and I ran that through my sewing machine um because yeah it just made it easier easier to attach it all and put those up on some foam and I thought that would be extra cute um and I also created a little bow and put that on the bunny's head because um why not it looks cute and yeah I'm pretty much done I did a few bits and pieces off camera which you'll see in the close-ups in a little bit um I just added some like kind of stitching coming from the bumblebee did my usual sequins thing and then the signpost went and I put a little speech bubble there um and that was cut apart from the book paper um and I just thought uh, that, that looked cute so um yeah I mean the signpost worked well I just, I just, at the time it didn't look right but I do like the way it looks so yes thank you for joining me make sure you go to the Pink Paisley blog um I have some really excellent puns in that blog post <laughs> oh, all, all this top quality content you're getting from me um and yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video